In 1968, a photo taken in Vietnam by Edward T. Adams showing the brutal assassination of a defenseless Viet Cong soldier aroused an outcry in the international press. Adams' photograph brought home to millions around the world the true horror of Vietnam. The artist, Wolf Fastel, took this famous war photograph and combined it with an image of a dancing beauty queen. Vostel called his picture Miss America. In the middle of the picture we can just about read a few scattered words. Dancing lights, sequins sparkled. It's a review of a fashion show. Vostel has juxtaposed two very different worlds. The brutal reality of Vietnam and the fake tinsel dream of a beauty contest. We are looking at two sides of America what lies on top and what lies underneath. The public mask and the private face. The victims are powerless. An invisible hand pulls the trigger. Like the assassinated Viet Cong soldier, the beauty queen has no real control over her destiny. She hangs disjointedly at the top of the picture, like a dangling puppet. She too is on public display. Usually it's the soldier in front of the firing squad who is blindfolded. Vostel, in a deliberate reversal, switches the roles around. It's his American beauty queen who wears the mask of blood. The pin-up beauty queen and the assassinated soldier have something else in common. Both are for sale. Edward Adams' photograph was in demand for newspapers all over the world. It was an expensive and highly successful commercial product, discussed and studied across the breakfast table, like the results of the Miss World competition. Miss America once had a smiling and successful face. Bostel obliterates her eyes with a bloody smear. Ideally, Vostel said, my picture should be seen as harassing fire, warnings, threats, protests, reminders and question marks. His materials are drawn from the same trashy world of magazines and newspapers, television sets and advertisements, posters and packaging as the materials of his contemporaries, the American pop artists. But where their art celebrates the consumer culture of the 60s, Vostel seems to tear it into grubby fragments. What the American pop artists praise, Vostel questions. What they cheer, he destroys. The destruction includes the traditional image of the artist. Vostel was a pioneer of happenings and action art. He brought his work out of the galleries and into the street. Life and people, he said, are art. Images torn, or destroyed. The pieces thrown together in new combinations. These are typical characteristics of his work. Vostel was born in Leverkusen in 1936. The first artistic training he received was in printing and lithography. In 1954, while still a student at art school in Wuppertal, he discovered a technique which became central to his work. He called it décollage, a French word meaning to tear off, to unglue, to scratch away. Décollage is the opposite of collage. In Vostel's hands, the act of tearing, of unsticking, of removing to reveal what was underneath became not just a technique, it was also a way of thinking. My art, said Vostel, intends to shock the average German consumer. Coca-Cola, from 1961, was made using this décollage method. It is an image of instability and disorder. The artist has torn off the surface of the poster to reveal other surfaces, other products, other eras hidden below. The Coca-Cola poster has been vandalized, its message challenged. 
In Vastel's art, the beautiful and the brutal are involved in a head-on crash. Art is only possible, he said, if we recognize death. The artists I admire have created in their works an alternative world to the world of death. I'm not thinking here of death as an image, like the dance of death, but rather as an awareness of the instability of the passing second. But painting is a medicine, a means of fighting the principle of death, an image of opposition. Death must be grasped in terms of its reality and time. Otherwise, all artists would say, let's have a break for a few hundred years. I'd much rather just do nothing for a thousand years, just study, and only then start painting again. We must have something to motivate our inner urge to create. Turning to his subject matter, Verstel wrote, In 1962, sex and war started to emerge as opposites in my scrubbed-out pictures. I'm a realist, but one who creates his own reality through a new realist technique. Technique is always the main thing in my work. While the subject matter, the idea or the combination of two contradictory forces like love and death, is its universal element. Vostel soon realized that his décollage technique drew attention to the physical act of making a work, to the tearing and ripping off of paper. He quickly moved on to staging happenings in the streets and making his installations outdoors, blurring the division between the artistic performance and the political demonstration. In 1962, with Georges Macunius, Vostel founded Fluxus, the most radical and experimental art movement of the 60s. They organized performance events, musical events, published actionist texts, and mixed video installations with loud public disturbances. In Vostel's work, images, objects, and happenings always seem to be piled one on top of another. Miss America takes its features from a gruesome happening for performers and three TV cameras mounted 1967 on a rifle range at Cologne. The happening was called Miss Vietnam. Writing about his technique, Vostel remembered, In 1961, I worked for a few hours a day as a layout artist. I had to deal with 300 photos at once. I became impressed with the ease of wiping out, of obliterating, what the French call effacage. But my work of this kind was not like Gerhard Richter's, whose painted photographs distort the image but do not wipe it out. They are blurred images in oil, in effect painted blurred photographs. In about 1962 or 63 in Cologne, I discovered the technique of using photoemulsion on treated canvas. I'm probably the first artist to have worked on photo canvas. Onto the emulsion on the canvas, I transferred what you see in the illustrated magazines and then treated the images with special photo acids. Naturally, there are certain side effects. The acid oxidizes on the canvas, and they change over a period of time. Miss America is thus a changing document of our time that seems to grow in power.